वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर नीरू टंडन फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश वी एस एस डी कॉलेज कानपुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग थर्ड पेपर नाइनटीन सेंचुरी इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इन दिस दिस मॉड्यूल डिस्कसिंग शेरलट ब्रांटेज जेन आयर इट हैज बीन रिटन बाय डॉक्टर सुप्रिया शुक्ला शेरलट ब्रांटे portrayed the women in victorian england as a representation of her own life through the content of jane eyre victorian literature has become a very important source for historical facts and the lifestyle of the 19th century england mainly because it relies on a realist mode of representation victorian era was a development of science so victorians exploded issues related to social context such as rural urban life and children condition of women etc now what charlotte brontë conveyed to the world i quote her lines it's better to be without logic than without feelings charlotte brontë 1816 to 1855 she was the eldest of the famous writer and the bronte sister known as bronte sister who survived into adulthood was one of the most powerfully insightful writers of the early 19th century she was one of the foremost romantic novelist along with her sisters emily and anne bronte Charlotte Bronte he, she was born in Thornton in Yorkshire England on April 21st 1816 she was the third of Patrick Bronte and Maria Branwell's six children her father was an anglican minister who moved the family to howford in 1820 after finding work at a church there Most of the Charlotte's education was provided at home by her father except for a brief and unhappy period when she attended a religious school later described in the opening chapters of Jane Eyre Now before I just discuss in detail the novel Jane Eyre I will like to tell you about the condition of women in Victorian England in that era there were only two things for an ideal woman that is marriage and procreation talking about sex talking about other outward things away from home was not permitted in such an atmosphere charlotte brontë she took this bold step to talk about a woman jane eyre in a different way in different shades in different colors she wanted to give a model for victorian woman she wanted to show that a woman should be true to herself a woman should be true to her womanhood first and she should do what she really wants to she should respect her inner feelings and then she should succumb to the societal pressure or not this is a message given by charlotte brontë to the world through the novel jane eyre at the age of 5 charlotte lost her mother to cancer in 1821 In 1824 the four eldest daughters were enrolled at the clergy daughters school a year later the two elder daughters mary and elizabeth left school as they were suffering from tuberculosis which proved to be fatal charlotte brontë was one of the foremost romantic novelists of the 19th century Her magnum opus Jane Eyre was written under the pseudonym Currier Bell. It was published in 
शर्लेट ब्रांटे रिवील्ड हर आइडेंटिटी ओनली आफ्टर इट वॉज ए क्लेम्ड बाय द रीडर्स नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस वाई डिड शी राइट अंडर अ पेन नेम द आंसर इज दैट विक्टोरियन सोसाइटी वॉज नॉट वेरी फेवरेबल फॉर वीमेन राइटर्स सो दे चोज जस्ट अ नेम विच could not decipher which could not just explain the identity of the author so her writing described with a dramatic force that was entirely new to english fiction the conflict between love and independence and the struggle of the individual to maintain her self esteem that was new and she was not sure whether the society is going to accept it or not that's why she just chose to hide her name and written under the name career bell now growing up in victorian england the bronte sister were inspired by romantic writers of their time like sir walter scott william wordsworth lord byron and charles dickens often her writings were compared with another great writer jane austen there were some common things between the writings of both these novelists the important thing is that both writers they portrayed their heroines though not so much in beauty but endowed with the strength of spirit that was unparalleled in its time let us talk about bronte sisters in 1824 charlotte and her sisters emily bronte maria bronte and elizabeth bronte they were sent to clergy daughters school which charlotte recreated as lowood in the novel jane eyre in poor conditions hasten the death of her two elder sisters maria and elizabeth who died in 1825 soon after they were removed from the school in 1846 the sisters sherlet emily and anne dedicated themselves to writing and published a volume of poetry in the pseudonym career is an action bell respectively now there is one very interesting thing to note that the names taken by them career is an action you know it is career c has been taken for charlotte brante e for emily and a that is the first letter of their names she said i quote her lines averse to personal publicity we veiled our own names under those of career ls and action bell the ambiguous choice being dictated by a sort of conscientious scruple at assuming christian names positively masculine while we did not like to declare ourselves women because without at that time suspecting that our mode of writing and thinking was not what is called feminine we had a vague impression that authoresses are liable to be looked on with prejudice we had noticed how critics sometimes use for their chastisement the weapon of personality and for their reward a flattery which is not true praise unquote now this statement of hers makes it obvious that victorian england was a man's world the patriarchal society had very specific roles for women even for women writers in her life charlotte had seen many problems but 1848 was a disastrous year for the brontes after the death of her only brother in september emily fell sick and died the same year in december the following year and died a grief stricken sherlot wrote in her poem on the death of ann bronte i quote her lines there is little joy in life for me and little terror in the grave i have lived the parting hour to see of one i would have died to save 
such a beautiful thing charlotte's siblings had died bravel september 1848 emily december 1848 and anne may 1849 now the grief stricken charlotte she was ready to die to save her sisters and brother but she couldn't so it creates sympathy but you cannot judge the pain she must have gone through at that time while describing all these things the only profession opened to her was a governess she wanted that she should get herself indulged in something or the other and the position of governess was a position that raised her from her low standing in fact this is the role that the society creates to middle class women of being a governess in the victorian society just like she is also described in the novel jane eyre that a school teacher like miss temple in lavod school companion to a wealthy lady as a servant like bessie lee and the servant of mrs reed to identify this situation also other women tried to write to live against the social hardships as charlotte brante but literature is not enough to be the business of a woman's life very few could succeed as brante did there are some more important facts related with charlotte brante j and her novel jane eyre as well jane eyre 1847 is a novel based on brante's autobiography which examines many shades of her life through jane eyre charlotte brante represents a figure of the victorian time and spots light on the lives of women muda says women were living in misogynist world and under male dominance in victorian era in fact women were deprived of many rights granted to men and had consequently a very low status in society they stood in the society for the sake of men literary allusions from the bible and fairy tales john bunyan's the pilgrim's progress milton's paradise lost and allusions from walter scott's poetry have also been used in the novel the autobiographical element in the novel is pronounced and obvious jane is similar to charlotte brontë physically because she was also a small plain looking woman like her heroine why why she has chosen a character like her own because she wanted to show that a heroine could be strong and intelligent without being beautiful jane eyre has been termed as an innovative novel why it is innovative it is hard for the modern readers to see the innovative aspects of this novel today because they are already familiar with it but in that era it was very innovative because women in that era were not in the position to think about it to accept it the way charlotte has designed it unlike her sisters charlotte rejected the convention of the beautiful heroine while writing jane eyre she told them i will show you a heroine as plain and as small as myself unquote she succeeded in her goal and established a trend of ordinary looking or unattractive heroines so this way jane eyre is definitely an innovative novel this novel consists of 38 chapters and most of the editions of the book are approximately 400 pages long originally it was published in three volumes which was the common publishing format of the 19th century we all know about it like charles dickens and others even hardy they used to publish their novels in different uh, in this particular format only the book thus mirrors the conventions of the patriarchal victorian society and has all the elements of social criticism the ills of society are very well criticized by the novelist when we discuss the themes of the novel jane eyre 
we just take care that Charlotte Bronte deals with various themes, not one. She talks about morality, gender relation, God, religion, social class, love and passion, feminism, atonement and forgiveness in quest for home and family as well. All these themes are very well defined and described in the novel and they give you a lesson in this particular area. The sentimental strain in the novel is due to the gothic effects in the novel. Gothic element in the romanticism, be it poetry, prose, drama or fiction, that was something very, very common. Gothic or mysterious, some supernatural, some ghost, some witches, some mad. So all these things were there being profusely used by novelists as well. Charlotte Bronte endows her heroine with an invisible talisman of spiritual quality which completely annuls the disadvantage of her ordinary looks. Doesn't matter that she was ordinary looking, she had so many qualities that she was loved, she was liked by all. This is the theme of Jane Eyre and in presenting her unconventional heroine who is defiantly virtuous, morally courageous and fiercely independent and able to overcome adversity, she brought about a change in the style of contemporary fiction. Now Jane Eyre, her character has got so many qualities. But one quality worth mentioning is that though deeply in love with Mr. Rochester, she believes in the importance of women's independence and does not give in to his wish of being his mistress after the disclosure of his living first wife is made. She refuses and she makes it a point that her value as a woman should be maintained. The feminist elements of her personality are evident in her struggle for freedom and her effort to maintain a position in life devoid of any debts to others. She tries to assert her identity in a male-dominated society. Also, her strong sense of morality makes her refuse to be Mr. Rochester's paramour. Jane Eyre Considered to be one of the finest works of literature to be produced in England was a novel with universal appeal, which shot Charlotte Bronte into immediate fame and success. Even a century later, it is still considered to be her masterpiece. Thackeray was so impressed by the novel that he introduced Charlotte to the circles of literary London. G. H. Lewis, a famous critic, wrote, that it was an utterance from the depths of a struggling, suffering, much enduring spirit. Even contemporary response to Jane Eyre is not very different. When Jane Eyre was published in 1847, it became a bestseller because her name was not there and people never knew whether it was written by a woman or a man. The reviews were on the whole favorable because it was the pseudonym Career Bell she used. There was much speculation about whether the writer was a man or a woman, whether the bells were really three persons, two persons or just one person. When it became known that a woman has written such a passionate novel and seemed so knowing sexually, the reviews became more negative. The widespread popularity of Jane Eyre can be gauged by the fact that it had several radio, television and film adaptations. Ever since 1910, from a silent film adaptation and then the black and white movie, there were several film remakes on the novel and the latest was released in 2011. Record claim that there have been at least 18 film versions of Jane Eyre and 9 made for television movies, 27 in all till date. 
some literary characteristics of the novel should be discussed. Use of literary motifs and symbols is the first one. The novelist uses many motifs from Gothic fiction combining romanticism with Gothicism which makes Jane Eyre a distinctive Victorian novel. Gothic motifs like the Byronic hero in the form of the character of Mr. Rochester, the Gothic manor called Thornfield Hall, the mad woman in the attic, Bartha who is Mr. Rochester's first wife and the mystery surrounding Thornfield Hall all create a gothic atmosphere of suspense and mystery. The sentimental novel of the 18th century that is the Augustan age relied on emotional responses of the characters and readers focusing on distress, tenderness and emotions. While in 19th century, Charlotte Brent's style of writing is typical of the 19th century Gothic novel because it is clear and concise. It is refined, precise as well as intricate. Although the phrases and clues she used are complex and elaborate, yet they are balanced as exact. She said once, life appears to me too short to be spent in nursing animosity or registering wrongs." Unquote. Even Harold Bloom declared Jane Eyre to be a classic of Gothic and Victorian literature. Unquote. So just a quick recap of the novel, full title Jane Eyre. Author Charlotte Brante, originally published under the male pseudonym Career Bell. It is a novel. Genre is a hybrid of three genres the Gothic novel, where she is utilizing the mysterious, supernatural, the horrific, and the romantic. The romance novel, because she emphasizes love and passion both, and the Bildungs Roman narrates the story of a character's internal development written in English and in 1847 in London. Date of first publication is 1847 and publisher was Smith Helder and Company. Narrator and protagonist is Jane Eyre herself and climax of the novel comes after Jane receives her second marriage proposal this time from Jane St. John Rivers who asked Jane to accompany him to India as his wife and fellow missionary. Jane considers the proposal even though she knows that marrying St. John would mean the death of her emotional life. She is on the verge of accepting when she hears Rochester's voice supernaturally calling her name from across the heath and knows that she must return to him only. Antagonist, Jane meets with a series of forces that threaten her liberty, integrity and happiness. Characters embodying these forces are Aunt Reed, Bartha Mason and Mr. Brocklehurst. The three men also represent the notion of an oppressive patriarchy. Setting is the early decades of the 19th century. And the novel is structured around five separate locations, all supposedly in Northern England. All the events are told from Jane's point of view. Sometimes she narrates the events as she experienced them. F various motives are used like fire and eyes, substitute mothers. Symbols, Bartha Mason, the Red Room. Now to sum up, Charlotte believed that art was most convincing when based on personal experiences. She based this novel on her personal experience, the life, the problems she had gone through in her own life and what she wanted to convey to the world she had conveyed through Jane Eyre. The freedom and liberty for a woman is must. She should not be just an appendix to a man. Her victory over bad motives, her victory over problems can be possible only if she has that much courage. It is a feminist novel, 
in its own sense and it gives message as well as strength to the writers, other writers and readers as well. So enjoy this novel. Thank you for visiting EPG Patshala.